a select group of nations have combined to become the world's core security. The United States, Russia, China, France, and the United Kingdom join forces. We will not allow our freedom to fade into darkness. No, no! We will rise up. All we've got is each other. We're a team. We got this. Your father's not Daniel. Let's go! Let's get him back. The scare man. You look like shit. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming back. War room, guys. This will be brief. The CIA released a video to us. Western world. This is war! I saw they're making compact, dirty bombs that have a much bigger impact. World's watching. We don't come out on top. All this will be for nothing. Let's finish this. All right, we got to move. Three clicks, north, northeast. I'm ordering predator drones into the area. Now, if things should get out of hand, we're going to put a Hellfire missile on his head. Sir, my men will be on the ground. It'll be my call and one that I have to live with. Sue, you're up. Copy. You're clear. Three, two, one. I got eyes on the bombs. Stu, Enda, shoot Stu in there. They're here. We have company. There's too many of them. There we go. Come to me. Lives at risk if they smuggle those bombs out. Doctor, go up! We have to move! Target acquired. Fire! Go! Now! Come on! Fuck out! Hi there, so did you like the video? Well, stay with me as I have a bonus, if somewhat controversial, behind the scenes movie fact for you. D.W. Griffith, a pioneering Hollywood film director, is credited with using the first close-up, the long shot, the fade out, and other film techniques in his 1915 groundbreaking and highly racist film, The Birth of a Nation, AKA The Klansman. Now, do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.